E.T. obtained Linda's court filing. She cites irreconcilable differences, lists their separation date as July 17th, and is asking for spousal support. The details behind Judge Greg Mattis and Linda Reese's divorce are becoming increasingly intense. Rumors have been circulating about Linda's true motive for seeking for divorce, and now the truth is emerging with accusations of infidelity and honey. Not just any affair, but one with an outside child. According to reports, Judge Mattis has been accused of having an extramarital affair. When Linda relearned about the entire affair, she filed for divorce right away. Greg, of course, is disputing all of this. The accusations, but Linda isn't buying it, she's tired of the justifications, and it's becoming much worse, gal. Messier according to reports, Linda has responded to Greg's defense by requesting a paternity test and telling him up front if the child isn't yours. It's obvious that this divorce drama is far from finished, and Greg Matthews may be dealing with some significant issues. Fine, we can work things out, but if it is, you can go ahead and have more babies with your side woman because she's done. Repercussions will they be able to go on from their decade? long marriage if the paternity test comes back positive, or will it be the end for them? Stay tuned as I expose all the information, from the infidelity accusations to Greg Mathias's frenzied defense. These days, divorces in Hollywood are almost commonplace, but Judge Greg Matthews and Linda's divorce, that is, after 39 years of marriage, caught me off surprise. The streets are rife with rumors that Linda became tired of Judge Matthews's infidelity, and some people are whispering that it's far more scandalous than simply cheating, you know I have inside information. There must have been a huge disaster that caused this separation. Dear, people are talking about their divorce since Linda and Mateys always seem to be so close. You may recall how in 2022 they gave us a glimpse inside their lives through their reality program. Asterisk the Mateys Family Matters star on the Hollywood Walk of Fame is unquestionably my greatest professional accomplishment, but I have to admit that my family was truly the basis of my success. Linda enabled me to work 15 hours a day, 5 or 6 days a week, after I was rescued from the streets of Detroit, so it was their support that allowed me to be. Just at the start of 2024, Linda and Mateys were cuddled up in Cabo and enjoying it up on social media. Fast forward to March, and they're still looking tight at an influencer brunch then in an interview. The success that you see our love and support flows deep all right. Baller Alert revealed that they had been unfaithful over whether or not their asterisk met these family concerns. Asterisk Show Night revealed their strategies for being close, portraying them as a perfect family with a few eccentricities, but he said they had never had arguments. She was sharing videos and pictures from a Father's Day celebration with Greg a few weeks ago. She was gushing about how much fun they had spending Father's Day with my family and friends at the Johnson home yesterday. It was heartwarming to watch all the fathers being honored, especially. But now I'm thinking, hold up, how are these same people heading for a divorce judge? In reference to my husband Greg and son-in-law Ryan. On June 10th, Maddie's even shared a lovely picture of Linda cuddled up in his arms in the elevator after the Detroit event. That being said, in the divorce papers Linda states that they were done as of July 17th, claiming irreconcilable differences is the reason why I'm sitting here feeling like we've been together for 39 years. So how did they go from being incredibly in love to splitting up? Ideally, you would have worked out a way to resolve your issues, but it seems like Linda reached a brick wall that she was unable to overcome. Fortunately, their four adult children and grandparents do not complicate matters pertaining to child support or custody. Now that the kids are back together for the first time in 15 years, Linda isn't leaving empty-handed, she's seeking for spousal support and has even checked the box to prevent Judge Matthews from receiving any spousal support. Oh, and there's still the unanswered question of what a prenuptial agreement is. Honestly, this divorce is startling because Matthew always made such a big deal about how much he loved his wife, remember when he received his Hollywood Walk of Fame star in May 2022. So we'll have to wait and see how that plays out. After 39 years of putting up with all the family turmoil, he was all about praising Linda and the family for their support. He even boasted about how she handled the family money and helped him get his life together when they first met. Keeping the house in order and handling finances I thought that Matthew must have made a huge mistake since I was equally perplexed as the next person. So, I did some research and discovered that Matthew hasn't been entirely saintly either, we have some tea on his less than nice behavior. 
Oh my goodness, if you think this is crazy already, allow me to take you back to some of the drama from May's past. In 2019, there was a police investigation into claims that May spat on a parking valet. The incident is said to have occurred at approximately 8 p.m. outside of a club located on the 17 block of St. Antoine in Detroit. According to the story, Maddie's became so enraged over whether the valet had his vehicle keys that he allegedly spit on the man. If that wasn't enough, there are rumors that Maddie's is infamously cheap. I am referring to a story from long ago when he was so frugal that he utilized coupons to buy dinner and broke. When he dines with pals, he always figures out his precise share to the last smell and never picks up the tab. Fast forward to just last year and we have another delicious scoop in the department of water and claim to have used a calculator to make sure he didn't believe more than the exact tip necessary. After a parking conflict, when a power employee accused Matthews of threatening them with a bang-bang, Matthews became enraged when they requested him to move his car. Words were exchanged and the situation reached to the point where Matthews threatened them claimed to have flagged and gestured at the workers, but Matthias gave a different account, claiming that the workers were obstructing his car and preventing him from leaving his driveway. When he stood in the roadway and said that if he didn't move, one of the staff apparently got smart with him. They would drive him over with their work vehicle. Matthias then saw it as a threat and stated that he had never flashed a weapon before, much less aimed it at someone. If these are the types of public pranks he is engaging in, just think. Imagine what goes on behind closed doors. And let's not forget the rumors of infidelity. Recall how Wendy Williams questioned Matthew about allegedly cheating during his interview on her show. When Wendy questioned about claims that Matthew was discovered in a motel with a crackhead and another woman who wasn't Linda, things quickly became heated. A lady stated that Maddie's not only slept with Wendy while high but also indicated that she might have a sexual relationship with Linda. Now there's some major drama. When I say Maddie's went off on Wendy, I mean he went all in and the tea gets even hotter. You won't believe this, but the lady who stated she had an affair with Judge Matthias also indicated that he was the reason she became pregnant. But Maddie's is out there disputing everything, claiming he hasn't ever heard of her and speculating that she probably gets paid to tell that story. Just think about what would happen if Wendy Williams were still on. Wendy would have been thinking that Matthias has been unfaithful all along and likely has a few secret children running around after all. People recall how he used to rush at every chance to peep at gorgeous ladies suing on his program especially if she had gone on a field date with this divorce drama. People claim he has a major wandering eye and if he went off on Wendy in that way, there could be some truth to it. However, some sources claim Linda's lawsuit isn't about scandalous affairs, rather, it's about. Judge Matthias has been overworking himself and ignoring their relationship, as an insider revealed. He oversees several charities and works 70 to 80 hours a week at a production firm. Judge Maddies reportedly promised Linda that he would slow down and that they could tour the world and enjoy the remainder of their lives. However, Linda gave up her entire life for him, and he has reportedly been working non-stop for the greater part of the previous 30 years. Yet he has no intention of slowing down any time soon. The insider claims that life is too short and that Judge Matthews can work his way around the nation, but Linda isn't prepared to make any more sacrifices. According to the insider, Judge Matthews has one more chance to rescue his. I'm not sure whether the work schedule is truly what's causing the breach, especially since Matthias doesn't appear to be working as much now. Some people say Linda could be tired of his simply being around. Whether he decides to slow down and appreciate his wife, she might accept him back. The home isn't bringing in as much money as it once did, and let's not overlook the negative remarks some people are making about Linda, claiming that 90% of divorces are started by women. The kids are grown, he has plenty of money, and she's prepared to begin her second life with his. Cash the belief that a woman should be independent of a man's labors and that a marriage should cease after a guy has completed his labor is being destroyed by women alone. Her behavior on TV was only a hint of what caused this, she waited for the coins until they were insufficient. What do you think about Linda's decision to resign after 39 years? Did infidelity play a part in it, or was it just that Maddie's was working too much or perhaps not enough? Please share your opinions in the comments section below.